summertime reading slump. <laughs> you do not want your kids, your students to experience that summertime reading slump. No, you don't want them walking into next year all like, mm, I don't know how to read. I'm not good at reading. You want them walking in knowing, woohoo, I got this. I'm a reader. I like reading. It's fun. But what materials can you use to keep that summertime fun reading experience going for them? What's engaging? And what, <laughs> and this is important, what is easy for you? Today, you are going to get the solution to the summertime reading slump. Say goodbye and say hello to the reading summer fun. Are you ready? Here we go. For some fun summary reading activities. I know I am. I am so glad you're here. If you're joining us, please let us know who you are, what grade you teach. If you're a mom, let us know how many kids you have. This is for the kindergarten, first grade students, uh, and we're keeping it fun around here. The song you just heard is from Dawn. <laughs> There she is right there. She is a nurse that helps teachers have fun activities. Just watched a video from her just a few uh, hours ago. So fun. And Amy, welcome as well. Today, we are talking about some fun reading activities you can do with your kids so that that reading, those reading skills stay top notch because if they don't use it, they're going to lose it. And I read something that they can lose two months worth of skills, but if you work with them, they will gain, they can gain up to and even beyond a month's worth of skill building. And so today, that's what we're about. We're about building those skills up so that when they're going into that classroom as a kindergartner, as a first grader, even second grade and preschool, these activities will be for you, all right? So the first one I wanna give you is something to do with the squirt gun. The squirt gun, uh, how many kids love squirt guns? They love squirt guns. Um, so what you do is you get the kids a squirt gun, you go out on the um, cement, you get your chalk out and you write, say they're preschoolers and you wanna do some numbers or some basic letters. Uh, maybe you want to do some sight words with your more advanced kids. Maybe you want to do um, maybe some f um, word families or whatever. So you write those out. You give them a loaded squirt gun. You have them stand in a box. I would draw a box on the sidewalk and shout out a letter if they're letters. A. And so they squirt the A that you've written. B. They squirt the B. Um, put the letters of their name out there. Squirt your squirt the letters of your name in order. Um, squirt the capital A, lowercase a. S squirt am, squirt the, um, things like that. Now, if you only have one squirt gun, because <laughs> sometimes you, you only have one squirt gun and you have a couple kids, have a race. Say to them, hey, I'm going to say the, the word. And if you're over here, you're gonna run to the word. And if you have the one, if you're the one with the squirt gun, you get to squirt the word, or you get to squirt the people that are running to the word. All right. So something just super fun, super fast. Uh, would they play that for a long time? Yes, you know they would. 
even if you have one squirt gun, they're going to love it. All right. So let's hear from you. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for some summertime fun activities? Remember to give me a thumbs up if you're ready for some summertime activities. And if you see something today that you like, um, also make sure that you subscribe because last time we were together, we got some math summer fun activities. And uh, today it's all about the reading. So let's jump right in with the next activity. These are easy printable activities. And just so you know, stick around to the end because we're probably, okay, not probably, you are getting one of these games free. I wonder what it is. Which one? It's actually my favorite one, and it's one that's the most popular with kids. All right. So last time we worked on the math ones, and we did this. You got that one free. So if uh, you didn't catch that, make sure you go back to that. Today we are doing reading games right there. And these reading games require only a few materials. And we'll jump in. This one comes in color and Black Line Master. And let's go ahead and see what we can see. This one is super fun. All you need are dice. And if you uh, don't have dice, go to like the um, dollar store and they have these big foamy dice right here, like this, um, that are great for outside play. So I, for this, basically you need one dice, you roll. I always mark the row that I'm gonna do first, and then you roll again, and then we're gonna do a granny. <laughs> are you ready? All right, so row two in a granny voice, saying it silly. Are you ready? So what would a granny sound like? Um, here we go. Fam, sot, jet, gall, map. All right, so this one is really great for dibbles practice. Um, just basic phonic skills. This one is so fun. And let's go. Let's keep moving on. That's the first one. I, why I love these two, somebody had a great idea last time. I think it was Andrea. Wouldn't this be great for uh, like if you were a babysitter and you had these, a, a pack of these to um, work with, with, with your um, people you babysit with, that you nanny for. Okay, this one is called Move It Like an Ocean Animal. It has 27 play mats um, and Pretty much all you need to do is spin, find, and move. All right. So to spin, you can use one of like these spinners right here. But what do you have laying around? You have a pen, pencil laying around and you have a paper clip laying around. Nothing fancy. We're keeping it simple. It's summer. It's summer, S, S, right? S, so now they have to find an S one. Let's do S, S, soccer ball. They cross it out. Now they move it like a shark. Are you ready? Boom, 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 boom. You could even go S, 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 S. <laughs> All right. They love this. Great phonic skills. Uh, I have some diagraphs in here, vowel sounds. It's super fun. All right. So if you like that, make sure you give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Next one. Oh, this one is fun. Okay. Now, what you need to do is you just need your spinner again and a dry erase marker. Where's my spinner? S keeping it simple. M. 
And there's a bunch of play mats for this one too. So the mm plus the, let's do ut equals, and they just write it right on there. And then what's so great, I have these in page protectors. They can use them again and again and again, because now what they do is they come over here, a real word, you're gonna um, color in a bug, and a silly word, you're gonna color in a smiley, all right, just like that. And um, so what do you think, smiley or uh, mutt? I think it's a real word, so let's color one in. If it was a make-believe word, it would be um, a smiley face, okay? Kind of like silly. All right, how many people are loving these games so far? Any other ideas? I think Dawn last time too, she mentioned that this would be a great, these would be great activities for um, like, um, <laughs> Dawn, I don't know how to get you up here. Here we go. It's clicking me. And I don't know why, but, oh, there's Dawn. Uh, she mentioned, because she's a grandma, she's like, ooh, these would be great for when the grandkids come over. Something that's fun, yet educational. Anything to keep that summer slump away. Again, it needs to be fun, but it also needs to build on those skills that they have worked so hard on doing. All right, so next one. Now this one is a little more um, advanced. I would uh, um, say this one would be great for um, first graders going into second grade, or if you have advanced kindergartners, that's what this one would be. So this one's easy. You just need a dry erase and a dice, keeping it simple. Oh. We need one more thing. We need like a little pawn or something. How about a little rock or something like that? And you can play two people, three people, one person, whatever. So you go one, two, it's a EW. And so down here, because it's a little tricky, if you wanted to cover this up, you could, but I like to give them some ideas. So few, so they write the word, they say the word, and then they come up here to the stars because it's space themed. How many of you love the summer sky? You, it's late, you can stay up late, you don't have to go to school. You look up at the stars, wow, majestic, beautiful. They just, they echo just um, an amazing creation, don't they? So they, you come up here and um, let's see if we can find it. There it is right there. All right. And if you're playing against a partner, they have a different dry erase marker that they can use. And at the end, the red can read all the blues words and the blue can read all the red words or whatever. This one will take them a while, right? This one is fun. P bring it in the car also. This is great. All right, this last one is very fun too. If you like these, make sure to subscribe. Next week, actually next week, I won't be here again because <laughs> we're going on another family adventure. Uh, Last, last time we went to Universal Studios and we had just the best time. Um, we're going on another family adventure. Um, so we, I won't be near my, my stuff. We're, we're having some family time next time. So um, staying, staying close to home, but uh, going to be busy around here. So the, the last one I want to show you is a sight word game, Catching Bugs. How many people love the bugs, right? They're awesome. Um, so this one you can is editable. So when you download this one, what you can do 
is you can change up the words to fit the words that they need, or you can even do letters or numbers or whatever content they need. Okay, and it's super simple to play. All you need is again, another little marker right here and dice and a dry erase marker. So they just roll. Let's put that up there so you can see. It's a little tricky for you to see anyway. So they go four, one, two, three, four, which, so then they find that word here, there it is, and they capture that bug. And then the blue goes next and however many you want, okay? Dawn is liking the bugs. She, she's giving us all the bugs. <laughs> I love it, Dawn. You're awesome. Let's see if I can get those buggies up. Come on, bugs. There they are. Dawn is sharing the bugs. Whoop, whoop. Uh, speaking of bugs, like uh, little um, germs, uh, she just did a video on using her song um, about washing your hands and germs and a little art project. So uh, again, perfect for summertime fun. So make sure you check out that video from her. All right. So these are a bunch of games from squirt guns to bugs to stars to what's the game you're getting? Well, this game you can totally get for free, right? I mean, this is this game you can play all day, every day, and they will love it. They will ask you for this, all right? But the game that you are getting, it, the link is in the description down below, is dun, 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 the Ocean Animal one. <laughs> it is the most fun. You and your kids will love it. If you're a mom, print these off, put them in a page protector, put them in, the, put your kids in the car. You have a, a big uh, road trip. Do this, put it, put it in a, a binder. They can just sit in their lap, do a spin. And then even in a car seat, they can pretend to be a puffer fish. They can pretend to be a shark, right? It's really a lot of fun and you're building their skills up. All right, are there any questions? Make sure that if you have any questions, let me know. Um, next time we come together, we're gonna start, I know it's early, we're gonna start thinking about the first day of kindergarten, the first day of first grade, like the first hour. What do you do? What do you have to have set up and ready for that first hour? because that first hour is going to be chaotic. It, I am not, I'm not going to lie. It's hard. It is super hard. And if you have a little bit of an insight about what to expect and some things that you can do to make it not so hard, it's just going to benefit you so much. I want you walking in the first day of school going, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, instead of, Oh no, Oh no. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start a little series on getting you ready for those first days of school. Did you know it, Amy? Did you know it? Uh, the, an the ocean animal game, Amy also has played uh, the um, other ones that are similar to this, but a different theme. It started with turkey yoga and uh, a bunch of other ones, and I just keep building on this theme because the kids absolutely love it. If you're doing summer school, if you're doing distance learning, this is just a fun game. It's also a fun game to do whole group uh, in your classroom. Um, just stick it underneath the document camera, put it up and the whole class does it kind of like an educational brain break. This is a favorite, all right? Um, yeah, 100 Hungry Ants. That's, I mean, I, I have that around here somewhere. The author of that actually lives like 90 miles 
from me um, in Montana. It's one of my absolute favorite books. So yeah, you as um, you could go to the library and check out bug books and then you can do the bug game and then you can sit out and look for bugs, go on a bug hunt and things like that. There really is no excuse to not do some of these activities. They're easy. They're fun. The kids will love them. All you have to do is print, put in a page protector. Done. Uh, no cutting, no pasting, no, no prep that way. Okay. So I am glad you are here. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you're watching the replay, make sure to tell me who you are and where you're from. And if you have ever have any questions, I am here for you. All right. Thanks for coming by. God bless you. Happy Father's Day. If you are a father, the world needs super dads to do bug games with their kids. Dads, you do these games. This would be a perfect Father's Day present to your kids. All right. I will see you all later. Have a good day and goodbye.